Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we are going to work on the fun part of uh, assembling the controller. Before we get started though, uh, please give the, the channel a subscribe, hit the subscribe button below, and also give the video a like. This helps with the algorithm, helps our site out a lot. We really appreciate it. Okay, so I have the CG1500 Falcon Plate Screw Kit from Wired Watts. And of course, the plate that I'm using is a Wired Watts plate. A bunch of places sell. This time I got it from uh, Wired Watts. Sometimes Falcon even has them. You can even use a cutting board. A lot of people do. Alright. And the way it works is... This side will be the bottom, that's where all of the, um, the out wires will, all the pixel ports will leave the box. There we go. It looks like those are my holes. There we go. Just as temporary placeholders. Okay, now we get these cut pieces of plastic, right? And those are our spacers. Put those over top. And that just keeps the, the board risen a little bit. Now the board is mounted. See that? And we got a little bit of a gap there between the board and the mounting plate. Okay, so looking at our at our board here, I was doing it, I was actually videotaping myself doing this live, but um, there was just way too much cursing involved and you know lots of running back and forth for this little part, that little part. So figure what I'll do instead is every so often just kind of stop and then kind of show where we're where we're at up to this point okay so what I've done is uh, we already we have the board mounted to the um, the mounting plate we have the power supply mounted on the mounting plate and then what I did is I took 12 gauge AWT wire and ran it from V minus on the power supply to ground on this terminal and this terminal, right? So half of the ports are powered by this side. The other half of the ports are powered by this side. And one of them, I think this side powers the, um, the board itself. Okay. And so I have two leads coming off. Now, when I connect it to the power supply, I use um, these spades, okay, and I have a special crimping tool, this, that I use to crimp them onto the wires, right? When I 
screw them down into the Phoenix connectors, these little screw downs, I have bare wire, right? That way, you know, it, it has its little teeth and it gets the wire in between there and you close the clamp it down and the wire goes back and forth. It's really nice. So I, I don't do tin tips. I don't do ferrules. Uh, I just do bare wire into these Phoenix connectors. And that's important, especially with these connectors. A loose connection will get you little sparks. It will make heat and uh, heat is bad. Now on the V positive, okay, the red wires, black is always negative, red is positive. Black isn't always negative. In this case, black is negative. Um, and for the, for the positive on the red wires, I have inline fuses, okay? Each one of these holds uh, a fuse. I put uh, 15 amp fuses in there. You could put whatever you want. Actually, no, I have 20 amp fuses in here. And that's for that side of the board. So if for some reason, my Meanwell power supply, which is actually designed to shut down if it does something really weird. If it does do something really weird, this fuse will catch it. Okay, and this fuse will pop before it hurts the board. So these fuses protect the board from the power supply. Okay, and I have an inline fuse on each one of these. All right, so very important. It helps protect your, your investment. And uh, this wire wasn't long enough. So usually they come on a loop. So when you buy them, they come on, come on a loop. So you have to be a little bit strategic where you're going to do your cut, right? Because you don't want your fuses to be right down here where they're competing for space with all of the pixels going out, these wires that are going by, and the CG1500, it's a little bit of a tight fit. So I usually try to get it so it shows up in this little bit of a dead space right there, right? That makes it accessible. Okay. Um, the other thing I did is I wired up my uh, my power cord, right? Green, white, black. So green is to ground. Duh. White is to neutral and black is to line. And since I can never fully remember it and I don't trust myself to remember, I uh, mark the colors on the power supply. I also like to mark where I got the power supply. Some people are nice enough to put the, uh, the name of their company on it, which is really nice. And I like stickers. And then, of course, I put the date when uh, I actually received the power supply. I think if I look down here real close, there's a place where it has a manufacturer date. But this is the Meanwell LRS 35012 um, great power supply.